the next presentation is online clinical case based discussions as a novel education tool presented by dr y g s w jayaratna dr s d pilapitiya dr n c lokunarangoda dr r d n c sarachandra dr w a j c chandra kumar dr g g g t amarakon dr s sri sankar dr b a vikram singh and dr d a m a kumar it will be presented by dr w a j c amarakon Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I will be I will be presenting about uh, experiences of teachers and students on online clinical case based discussions conducted at uh, Faculty of Medicine, Rajaratna Medical Faculty. And uh, I'm Dr. Vasana Jayaratna, and I'm a senior lecturer in medical education. And uh, so, as a result of uh, covid-19 pandemic actually uh, in our faculty there were a lot of uh, innovative approaches for teaching learning and assessment so we had uh, different kind of uh, tools and we used and implemented so this is one uh, tool which we use to te uh, teach uh, clinical reasoning of uh, uh, medical students so i think uh, we all know that uh, in as for the medical students and as for doctors uh clinical reasoning is important skill uh which they should foster and we, uh, which they should need uh to diagnose patients and to get uh decision making so uh we need to as academic we need to foster their clinical reasoning ability through uh case based discussion so case based discussion is one tool which we can use to foster uh this uh, clinical reasoning skills so and also uh, clinical uh, based discussions encourage self reflection and it allows integration of knowledge and practices so with all these things we thought okay now this uh, we are not doing face to face teaching at the wards and because of that we have to start somehow we need to do uh, some activity to foster their clinical reasoning skills therefore we started uh, clinical case based discussions conducted through zoom and uh, so based on that uh, our objective was since this is kind of a novel or new approach uh, for teaching learning for both uh, teachers and for students uh, we thought to evaluate their experiences especially teachers and students both on online clinical based discussion so that was our objective to evaluate uh, or to evaluate their experiences on this uh, so uh, we conducted this case based discussions through zoom uh, for uh, it is kind of uh, like uh, there were 45 in one group that is professorial group and all five departments conducted this uh, uh, clinical case based discussions through zoom and uh, we got the experiences of this uh, on this uh, through open ended questionnaire for both uh, from both teachers and from students and so we analyzed this uh, as it's kind of a uh, qualitative study and we did uh, thematic analysis and uh, based on that uh, it's really uh, interesting to have this uh, uh, the experiences of two uh, groups students felt that it was it was a really a positive experience and what they uh, felt was uh, cbd simulating their ward classes they said that it's more similar to uh, what they gain from ward classes so these there are these are the quotes in bold they were they are the quotes and they uh, they felt that it's kind of a interactive and uh, they can participate actively and uh, they felt i think uh, they understood it's as holistic aspect of this is that means we are uh our objective was achieved i, I mean uh, to foster their clinical reasoning ability and they felt it's friendly comfortable uh, except few uh, technical difficulties uh, they wanted to continue the cbds through zoom so that was the students uh, experience on rela uh, in relation to uh, clinical based discussions uh, online clinical based discussions so what about uh, teachers it was mixed but mainly it's uh, 
it's kind of a disappointed. They were disappointed with online uh, case based discussions. Why? It was mainly negative side. They felt that I sometimes felt my teaching is vanished in thin air. So that was they uh, felt. And also they wanted to, as clinicians, they wanted to feel and smell, feel and smell the clinicals. So they, they can not feel those things through this online uh, case-based discussion. So they were really actually, uh, they are not interested. And they, they wanted to somehow at least to achieve this objective, they want to do this, continue. But anyway, their experience is negative. They said that uh, the complexity of actual patients cannot be explained through these uh, online activities. And also, they have to learn a lot with this uh, using Zoom and using LMS and everything. That was new thing. So compared to the students. So I think all these things uh, got negative experience with them. So. As a conclusion, this experience of clinicians and students are contrasting. So they, uh, they have contrast views. And uh, with the views of uh, teachers or the clinicians, what we felt all those students like, uh, this online CBD would be a primary or temporary measure uh, to traditional ward classes only during this COVID-19 pandemic, although uh, case-based or the clinical reasoning can improve through online measures. So that's what uh, we that's what we concluded with the uh, with this small uh, evaluation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Jarat. We have three minutes for queries and questions and discussion? Uh, I mean, it's an interesting uh, uh, study. Uh, why do you think that the teachers were not really liking it uh, than the students? Were there are other factors that may be contributing? Yeah, I think uh, as uh, the quote says, uh, they actually, they are not feeling it. So they, they don't feel as it actually uh, they are doing teaching and they are doing uh, something like it's like when you do online teaching we can't see the students and sometimes we see only the names of students and they can't see and feel and smell so that may be the reason uh, do, you that, uh, do you think that the, uh, the generation gap might have had an effect on that Yes, uh, in some extent, because uh, there were some technical difficulties. I, I mean, uh, our academics or the clinicians has to learn a lot about LMS and about Zoom and how to do interactive activities through Zoom. And so that was kind of uh, time consuming. That's not easy for them. So they, they were used to do everything through face to face in, uh, in the board setup. And this is kind of a new normal experience for them. Yeah. And so I think it takes some time to uh, adapt into that. That may be the reason. Uh, one final thing, like uh, I mean, we talk about student-centered learning and all. Do you think it's right for go back to the old days of teaching when students like the new ways? You mean uh, stu students? Students seem to like this new method of teaching, isn't it? I think. Uh, we don't want to, we don't need to go to the old one, but we can use this as blended approach. I mean, we, we, since we come to this and we learned a lot online, and uh, now we are in kind of a higher level in compared to the previous, so we can use these both methods, which are, like, which are feasible for both. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.